Halloween is still a few days away, but some kids throughout Allen County got a little bit of a head start on their trick-or-treating this morning. Fox 55's Drew Fry explains how local schools and community groups are giving kids a fun and safe way to celebrate the holiday this year. From turtles to demons to superheroes both big and small, the Halloween spirit is very much alive in Allen County. You look fantastic. Kanaya Nelson and her classmates are celebrating the holiday early. After a chaotic past couple years, they want everyone at Prince Chapman Academy to get the chance to trick or treat this year. COVID can't ruin anything for to make us stop having fun. With creative costumes and plenty of sweet treats, Principal Renee Hutter doesn't think fun was ever an issue. They got to wear costumes to school today, which is also a big day for them. So they were excited coming in this morning. Um, I think some of them are a little shocked how much candy they're getting. Some of them are even telling me it's too much candy. <laughs> so they're excited for it. It's something new for them. And PCA wasn't the only one to come up with this idea. Kids and their families trick-or-treated around the Fort Wayne Urban League this afternoon, a familiar place where they could feel comfortable and have a little bit of fun. You know, we have kids right next door. They are in one of the lowest income areas in our state. Let's do something fun for them. And so I decided, why not? I called up Bright Point. They said, I love the idea. So here we are. Urban League President Tara Brantley is impressed with the community support she's seen. Kroger donated candy, and the Allen County Public Library gave out books to the kids. Even back at PCA, volunteers decorated cars, and former students came back to give out candy, such as New Haven senior Avion Creech. We never got a chance to do this, so if I can come back and do it and help out, I always can. Just to see kids smile at a young age is always making me happy. Though Creech didn't get to trunk or treat when he was a student here, Hutter hopes that this new tradition can continue for years to come. In Fort Wayne, I'm Drew Fry, Fox 55 News. Roughly 850 kids in total were able to trick-or-treat at today's events. And for a full list of your city's scheduled trick-or-treat hours heading into the weekend, you can visit this story and other stories on our website at WFFT.com.